Unova Knowledge Management Unova Knowledge Management helps managers and team members organize, locate relevant content and expertise required to address specific business tasks and project. You can use this section to post informative topics, reply to that post, ask questions, answer questions posted by other members, etc. When you hover on knowledge, you can see a submenu consisting of index, recent topics, new topic, and my topics. Click on index. It displays the main categories with subcategories. Here you can see Joomla discussion as the parent category and components, templates, modules, etc. as the subcategories. On the right hand side, you can see how many topics have been posted and replies received for a particular subcategory. You can also use the drop down to select the category and subcategory. When you click on any subcategory, say modules, you can see all the topics posted under modules. On top of it, you can see new topics, mark topics read, subscribe. By clicking on new topics, you will be able to create a new post under modules. By clicking on mark topics read, all the posts will be marked as read. By clicking on subscribe, you will get a notification whenever someone adds a new post under modules. Now browse and click the topic that you would like to read. Let us check how to add extra files in registration page. Now you can read the post and if you want you can reply to it by clicking reply. You can thank the user for the post by clicking on thank you. You can also subscribe to the post this way. Whenever someone replies to the post, you get a notification for the same. You can mark the post as your favorite and also you can create a new topic on the same subcategory modules. If you find the post to be abusive or offensive, then you can report it to the moderator by clicking on report to moderator. All the posts and replies are accompanied by a profile image of the members. Below that, you can see whether the user is online or offline. You can also send a private message to that particular user by clicking on letter icon. Write the subject line, write the message and click send. The message will be delivered to that user's inbox and he will get a notification for the same. Now let us see what's the function of recent topics. Go to the knowledge and click on recent topics. You will see all the latest topics posted by users. You can refine the list by using the drop down to see the topics posted at different times and in different categories and subcategories. Suppose if you want to see what are the topics posted in last 24 hours, then from the drop down menu select 24 hours. You will see here just one topic was posted in last 24 hours. Like this, you can use the drop down menu to select latest topics posted in different categories and subcategories. The choose an action drop down is only available to the moderator for a particular category. Now let us see how to create and post a new topic in the knowledge section of Unova. Go to Unova and click on new topic. You will see a text editor with different fields. First you need to select the parent category and subcategory that you want to post your topic in. Here we will select the parent category as software testing and subcategory as tips and techniques. Next write the subject manual and automated testing advantages and disadvantages. Then select the appropriate topic icon. After that you can write the text. Once the text is written, attach the required attachment by clicking on Add File. Browse through your files and select the file. Now click Insert. The file gets attached to the mail body. Like this, you can add multiple files with same or different formats like .doc, .jpeg, .png, etc. If you want to get notified of replies or comments on your post, then click Subscribe and then click submit. Now your post will be visible to everyone on the activity stream and users can click on the subject to read it. Now let us see what is the use of my topics. Go to knowledge and click my topics. It shows all the posts that you have created in knowledge management till now. 
Along with that, you can also see number of replies and views your post has received. If you want to narrow down your search, then use the top right drop down menu and search the topics you posted according to category and subcategory. This helps save time and effort.